Good morning. So I'm with uh, Novia. Is that correct? Hi. Yes. Hello, Novia. Thank you for being here. Hello. Uh, it's nice to have you. So uh, as usual, I'm going to write down the attendance. And I'm trying to call also Diana, so she's unavailable. So it's just gonna be you and me, Nubia. Now you're gonna have to mute your microphone. Thank you. You already did that. And we're gonna begin with the presentation. Now, as you know, we have a writing session. A writing advanced session and today's topic is about conciseness so conciseness writing how to write low fat prose this is an analogy so if I want you to imagine uh, a low fat prose writing that has a lot of fat versus writing that has not fat at all and for this we have two images and it says, get rid of the bloat. The bloat is when you have your stomach full of gas or inflated. Well, when we write, we also tend to do some inflations. We inflate or words or phrases. We have here two examples. Number one and number two. Nubia, I want you to think about how does this relate to writing? Please unmute your microphone and go ahead. Uh, what was that? The skin get right of the blood. Uh, uh, I can the uh, repeat the answer to the question. Yes, get rid of the bloat. So when we write, we can write like this, or we can write like this. So what is the difference between writing like this and writing like this? Mm, a ver. The, the, the shame te teacher, the share, the share, the share. No, ver. well, the difference is that once is bloated, is full of gas, you see, the other one 
is muscular. It's slim. Es de la de la shirt. Puede ser de la forma short. Shirt es o fit de la el cuerpo y eso. Fit o shirt. Yes, he's fit. Well, it turns out that when we write and when when we write in English or Spanish or French, we can write like this, bloated, or we can have a very pretty body of text and write it slim. Now, there are some examples about that. So, this is called concise writing. Conciseness, ser conciso en español. So, there are some principles to concise writing. One is use positive constructions. The other one is clean it up, avoid filler phrases. The other one is Dreamline sentences, omit unneeded words, watch for unnecessary prepositional phrases, and make fancy words plain. That's it for the principles of concise writing. Now, we have here two lists. Use positive constructions. So we have avoid this, no usamos estas, versus use this instead. So, uh, Nubia, please read this list, avoid this. Avoid this, not, not all, not many, not late, not negative, not efficient, not possible, not happy. Very good. Now read this. Uh, use this instead. Most, few, punctual, positive, inefficient, impossible, you said, the, the present. Very well. So what, what do you see is the difference between these two columns? The difference is very... They use the, the not? Yes, that they, could be. They use this instead of uh, are prefix, como prefijo, sufijos. Well, the first thing that we see is that the first thing uses note. This list doesn't use not, you see? Not all, must, not many, few. I'm not saying must, not in this list. So when we do that, we call this a negative construction. And we, when we write, we shouldn't use negative constructions. We should use only positive construction. We have not all is changed for must, for example. Not possible, impossible, not happy, upset. Now let's play a game and tell me which one do you think is the positive construction. So I'm gonna do the first one. If I say not understanding, I should say misunderstanding. misunderstanding. What if I say uh, not spelling correctly? Which one would you say is the positive construction to not spelling correctly? Go ahead, Nubia. Eh, I am, sería, mm, no spelling correctly. Ah, eh, uh, sería, eh, at, y, y, un, y un, an spelling, an spelling, correcti. You got it. Well, it's, you are very close. It's actually me spelling. Ah, me, sí, sí. But you got the idea. I'm happy for that. How about... Um, let me think about another example. Not using... Correctly. Which one do you, say, do you think is the positive construction?
The same, Miss. Sería Miss using correctly. Miss using. Miss using correctly. Very good. So we call this bloated or fat because it's unnecessary. We're making something bigger than it is necessary. This looks better. This is better. But better. But better. Why do you why do you think this is better? Um, better um, ¿Cuál es mejor? <laughs> no, it's it's this one is better because misunderstanding misspelling because it's using fewer words. But why is it better? What is the reason? No, no sabría. Because it's more simple. Ah. That's the idea. No tiene muchas palabras, I know many words. That's right. You got it. Not many words. Now we also uh, talk about less fillers, more flavor. What are words filler and keep the important words? So Noe, I want you to read this. Uh, what are words the filler? More flavor. What word are the fillers? I think that basically the word fills so or a dead trajet in a sense by the kind of behavior the president displayed. The filler, a ver, ¿cuál es? No, go ahead and keep on reading. Continue here. My key important words. The words fill the trajet by the president behavior. I think that basically, 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 mm -hmm. say, basically, short, in a sense, it kind of. Very good. So right here we have the same sentence. I think that basically the board fell sort of betray in a sense by the kind of behavior the president displayed versus compared to the board fell betrayed by the president's behavior. You see this one is exactly the same as this one is telling us the same information however here we have fillers what are the fillers i think that basically sort of in a sense we don't need those because we're just feeling feeling unnecessary information i can simply say the board felt betrayed by the president's behavior and that's it Ah, uh, oh yes, it's very, very uh, short, no? <laughs> very short. And you know something also? It's also easier to understand, right? Which one is easier to understand for you? This one or this one? Uh, the key important word, the, the second. <laughs> the second part is better. So my invitation is that when you write, try to write very simply so mm -hmm. stop doing i think that basically because even though that sounds elegantly we want to uh refrain from doing that now let's continue mm -hmm. at energy by extreme uh, uh, streamlining explanations so again we have the sluggish version right here and we have the streamline uh, version. Please go ahead and read this luggage. The market for the sale of flight memory chip is dominated by two chip manufacturers, in Intel and Advanced Microsystem. These two chip manufacturers are responsible for 76% of the one twenty billion market in flash memory chip last year. Very good. Continue here, please. Yes. 
Stream, ahí no sé cómo se lee stream Streamline. En streamline, streamline. Es streamline, what do you mean, teacher? Adelgazado. Ah, streamline. Ah, ya, yeah, streamline. The market for flash memory chips is domin dominated. Do ahí, ¿cómo sería? Domi dominated. Dominated by Intel and Advanced. A microsystem to companies that claim it. Uh, 70, 76% of the three of the one three million billion industry last year. Okay, so I want you to look at this for two minutes. Look at it, and you're gonna tell me what are the differences between this text and this text. So please take two minutes and I'll come back in two minutes and you're going to tell me what is the difference, all right? Mm -hmm. I had the right teacher in the chat. No, you just have to think about that. Think. And when you have the answer, I'm going to go back in two minutes. Pero tengo que escribirlo, tengo que hablar. Speak. Ah, ya, yeah, speak. ¿Cómo? Uh -huh. ¿Mi papá? No sé, a ver, yo lo llamo. Yo creo que no, ya. A ver, ahí va a terminar. A ver, ahí va a You you ask me the what is the difference in this la in the first part and second part, teacher? Yes. What is the differences between the two sentences? The difference is the the information is the same, but I I in the first part I I see the use the the several phrases. Mm, eh, that, that no what of those words are unnecessary? A ver, that no necessary is the a ver, a ver, the man, the salof, ahí se van de salof. Which one? En first, en first. Synthesis, the sale of, sale of. No, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. The market for, the ah, the sale of. Mm. Mm. Yes, because it's not here. Very good. The market for the flash memory is dominated. So what you don't see here, it's eliminated right here. The, the, the word this, this to she do, I had the company, two companies in the first part, I these two, these two. Very well, you got it. Yes, that is another one. Keep, the inter, continue, inter, please. Inter, ah, Inter, <laughs> inter and the BEM, the company, the man. The, the word company is no use, no? It's not company. use. That's right. Mm -hmm. Company. What, and what's the last one? The the chip. Teacher, the 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 word chip. The chain go with words companies. Chip is similar companies so... or these two chips. Well, these two chips is unnecessary because you don't see it right here. Dicen two companies, dicen, in the other part, companies. Uh -huh, a ver. Uh 
I see and I know more. I know. No more, very well. Now, the first uh, unnecessary word is the sale of. You got it? Because we, we, we here just talk, the market for flash memory chips is dominated by Intel and advanced microsystems. Two companies that claim 76% of the 1.3 billion industry last year. Another one very important is that the, this streamlined version doesn't use these two chips are manufacturer responsible. Because what are the two chips manufacturers? I already said it. I said it's Intel and Advanced Microsystem. So I don't have to say, again, these two microchips, because I'm talking about those right now. So I don't have to repeat those. In conclusion, the streamlined version uses less repetition. Less repetition. This one, uses words that are repeated. Now, Nubia, out of the sluggish version and the streamline, which one is easier to read? Ahí no le entendí al final, Tiche. Cuando me dijo que el streamline, ahí no le entendí. Which one is easier to read? Yeah, uh, the streamline. The streamline. Why? The, stream, the streamline is, is very easy. Very easy. Yes, I agree with you. Why is it easy? Uh, what, teacher? Why is easy? What is the reason? Uh, why? Why easy? Why easy? Hmm. Because I is is more summer. Yes, is is more compressed. It, it doesn't use as much repetitions as the sluggish version. Very good. You got it. We can continue. Now let's look at some problematic prepositional phrases. So what's the problem here? And see the solution. Now Nubia, please read. Uh, List number one. At the present time. A ver, at the present time. The, uh, the present time sería, uh, now. Very now, good. Eh? At present time now. Uh, during the course of, do, during the course of. During uh, what? It isn't, it's, is is uh, okay, so it's, uh, it's done in order is order is order everyone has the answer in front of them one one during two two three, of, three. Uh, do, during a while uh, in the event that if i view or the fact that because on a daily basis daily prior to before uh, and the conclusion of after following, I I mean, I have the match. Yes, very good. So we have here a list that are prepositional phrases that we should not use. And we have a more simple version. Which one mm -hmm. is the more simple version? Uh, the, more, the more simple version is the second list because I even use uh, one word at the conclusion of is better used after. Very good. So when we use this, this list, we're going to be more clear. And when we do writing, we shall use this because this is going to give better understanding of our writing. Let's continue. Make... I'm sorry. Can you repeat that because I am not hearing you. I think you lost the the microphone.
Hello. <laughs> Hello. My my internet broke, teacher. <laughs> that's that's fine. Don't worry. So let's continue. We were about to do an exercise. So talking about fat and slim. Let's look at this sentence. Please read it. Oh yeah. Maybe sentences like a slimmer. At the present time, in view of the facts that we had election coming in less than two months, it is important to take into consideration the boring the course of the candi candidates. Very good. Now, look, we have some filler. At the present time, can be replaced. Uh -huh. By now. Yes, we have in the view of the fact we can replace it. Well, the that's the exercise that you're gonna do. Then we have, for example, it is important to take into consideration, taking into consideration can be uh, replaced by um, Im just important. So take a look at this and please write your answer. Make it slimmer, remember. You can write on Skype the answer. I want you to do this same sentence, but make it slimmer. You have to write this again, but make it slimmer. Adelgazala. You got it? No. No, no, no. Ok, entonces tienes esta oración que tiene algunas cositas que deben ser eliminadas o reemplazadas. La idea es que vuelvas a escribir esta oración, pero más cortica. Ah, sí, ah, silencio. Entonces sí la entendí, sino que a veces dudo. Eh, ay, sino que este... Bueno, me toca con este, es que me toca con este, con, eh, con el celular, con datos y entonces casi me queda difícil para escribir aquí el chat, no sé cómo es que. Ok, so, try to say it. Sí, a ver, sí. No, en, en, este, en este celular no sé, profe, como para ver... 
Okay, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Let's do it together. So at the present time, what would you use to replace that? Now, okay. Let me. Very good. Let me write it down. Gonna use my pencil. And right here, we use now. Okay. Now, in the view of the fact that we have elections, how would you chase change in the view of the fact? Because in view of the fact that seria because because okay very good and we can even re uh, replace that because we have elections coming in less than two months uh now because we have elections coming in less than two months how would you replace in less than two months and would you replace it in few then less two months let's leave it like that it sounds good now let's change it is important to take into consideration so how would you replace it is important to take into consideration it's important to take into consideration no I know no so it's considering you can just say considering the voting records of the candidates and then I need to say it is important so I can say is important so it will be now because we have elections coming in less than two months considering the voting records of the candidates is important do you think it changed yes teacher. yes and and is it better now or is it worse very good now it's much better we finished we made this shorter shorter we also made it clearer and more comprehensible So very good, Nubia. You got it correct. Let's continue. Now, here we have two chickens. One is an elegant chicken and the other one is a simple chicken. When we write, we can use fancy words, elegant words, but we can also use plain and simple words. So when we write, the idea is to use plain words why because when we write plainly it's easier to understand our ideas so please read this two list Nubia. Mm -hmm. okay. avoid fans words initiative comments comments quantify you i no sé cómo se lee esa palabra utilize Utilize, utilize, utilize. Uh, furnish, perform, man, manifest, assem, advise, terminate. Use plain words. Begin, misu, use, provide, give, do, show, try, tell, and shop. Very good. Now read it. One initiate and then begin quantify measure utilize use please read it like that mm, yeah initiative comments begin 
quantify misuse, analyze uh, use, furnish, provide, give, perform, do, manifest, show, assemble, try, advise, tell, it terminate, and stop. You got it. So this one are elegant words that sound good. They are elegant, but when we write, uh, it can confuse some people. So try to use plain words instead. We're going to do a final exercise. So I'm going to give you some words right here. Choose from the words below to make fancy words simpler, plainer. So we have initiate, initiate, all right. So we have end, begin, stop, measure, tell, try, provide, show, give, do, begin. Which one do you think is the answer to this one, initiate? I don't remember the another word. Don't worry, here it is, initiate. Ah, no, 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 I don't see. I mean, I don't can see. I mean, the word they use, uh, the end, begin, stop, me, so then, uh, then, I provide you. I mean, the terminate is the, the ten, the ten word is the, is the, stop. Stop. Very good. What about initiate number one? Initiate is a very initiate. A very is begin. Perfect. Begin. What about commence? Um, commence. A very commence. Commence. Comenzar. Mm -hmm. we'll be begin again. Ah, begin again. Ah, again. Mm -hmm. How about quantify? Quantify. Quantify. Measure, yes, you got it, very good. Measure. How about utilize? Utilize the, the um, Usar. Uh, use, okay. Utilize, use. Okay, use. Furnish, dar. Furnish, 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 furnish. Tell, no, try, try. No, furnish is no. dar algo. Dar algo a alguien. Give, give, give. Very good. Give. Give, good. Perform. Perform es como cuando uno muestra algo. Ah, entonces show. Show, very good. Show. 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 Manifest, manifestarse. Manifestarse, entonces sería tell. Very good. Tell. tell. Attempt. Attempt, try, try. Attempt, try. You got it. And finally, yeah. advice. Advice sería el último que sería... Tell or provide? Provide. That would be provide. Okay, let's then, review it. Then, I know you, then. 
the word end? Yes, you can use terminate, stop, ah, or stop, end. No? Stop, end. Ah, Depends on stop, which one do you prefer. Ah, yeah. Very stop, good. End. Now we have... This topic, this topic is very difficult, no? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it requires experience, but it's not difficult. Mm -hmm. When you... Yes, but in reality, it's given you a chance to write more easily. So in that sense, it's an easy topic, but it requires experience. So. My advice is read more, read the news, read the newspaper, read a magazine, read a book. If you read, you're going to be a better adapt to be a better writer. So let me review this. So we have initiate, begin. This one is correct. Commence, begin, measure, quantify, correct, utilize, use, correct. Perform, show, correct, 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 and finally terminate, stop, or end. Very good, Nuya. You got it. Now, uh, before we finish, do you have questions about anything or, or this uh, lesson? No, teacher, no. It's clear the topic for me. Great. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care and goodbye. Goodbye, teacher.